YouTube. Today I want to talk about Skype. I want to talk about PowerPC. I want to talk about all the machines. I want to talk about updates. Um, as you all know, I'm also a big fan of uh, the PowerPC. You will see a review coming up of a 12-inch PowerPC that I just got. It's an amazing, beautiful little machine running uh, the latest or the highest that it can run, and that is 10.5. 10.5 is um, still a very good operating system and so is 10.4.11 uh, for s uh, some people because they do art stuff and they do it on these computers for many years and they just don't want to update because some program is forcing them to update and that is not only Skype but these are many things and it's not uh, it's not because of Skype that this uh, was not continued by Microsoft. It was because of Apple, because Apple discontinued uh, PowerPC. You know, um, that's why uh, Microsoft also said, OK, then we're not going to, you know, uh, invest uh, more development uh, into this. So we are now having a PowerPC, you know, that was running Skype a while ago. But now it's not running anymore because your 2.8 version just died on you and it can't connect to the server anymore. So I thought, well, let me take a look at it and, you know, let me just see uh, what really changed, you know. So this is version 2.8. I made a copy that I had had on the power PC, you know, a copy that is uh, unpacked already, installed or, read, yeah, how can you say it, uh, Apple. And then I thought, well, let me hit show content, right? So I thought, let me copy my Skype from my program folder, from this folder here. You see, it's not there anymore. I copied it to my desktop. And I thought, well, let me do just the same, show package contents. So we have here two show packing contents. This is from a working Skype, and this is from a not working Skype. So we're going to open that one here, and we're going to open that one. So I thought, well, you know, um, the first thing a program do is, you know, he gives info about whatever it is, you know. And here you can see there is one playlist and here is another info playlist. PK, PKG info, I, I have no idea what this is. So I thought, well, let me open this one. You know, and let's go inspect it. So I'm going to open this one as well. So this is from the working Skype and this is from the not working Skype. So I opened it and then I went looking. I went looking and reading and looking and reading and then you know, I saw two things coming up three times. What the heck was I what was was I seeing, you guys think? Well, I was seeing the playlist number. You know, um that was the only difference that I could see in the whole uh, abacadabra that you see here in front of you. Yes. And um well I'm gonna show you what it's about. This is the not working playlist, and this is the working playlist, okay? So let's take a look here. We're going to look here. Take a good look. All right, we go down. Go down. Here you see string 6.15. Yeah, I know this, this looks like kind of kind of crazy to you guys. Here you see string. 6.0 Let we go more down and here we see a string 6.15.0.3.3.5 okay we go down here and up here there was a string, I'm going to highlight it for you. There was a string, 2, 8, 
point something that will be in the 2.8 all right so in fact this what you're seeing here is already edited um, I already fixed it so in fact I should not show you this what I'm gonna show you is uh, followed um, let me see how I'm gonna do it because it will say it cannot do it the only way to do it is to I have the DMG file here of Skype here it is you see 2.8 but in fact this number here that you see 280866 this is the number that you will see in this playlist so I thought you know what let me just everywhere where I see that number let me highlight it this 2.8 point uh, something and then post the 6 15 uh, 0334 number so I did it one one time and I look further in the list you know I did it a second time here you see that here I also changed this string to 615 from 2.8 uh, 616 to 615 0334 and I did it one more time here you see that and um, what you should do, in fact, guys, is go to oldapps.com and uh, download the 2.8 Mac version. When you download the 2.8 Mac version, only thing you have to do is right mouse click it, yeah, with your Mac. This is only for Mac and then show package contents. Okay, so, you know, and then you go into here and then you go into the playlist, you know, and you just go changing this build numbers and for some kind of reason when I did that I changed the three numbers from uh, one or from two point of two point eight uh, to six uh, fifteen and you guys are like what is this guy talking well the version was up here where you see uh, this number 6150334 uh, was written before 28088 or 866 if I can remember it uh, very well so that was all changed to these numbers and you only highlight it so what you do you copy this number write down this number write down 6.15.0.335 write that down in a text hours. file and then select it select that uh, what you just typed don't forget to put the points you know copy it so it's in the memory of your computer then only thing you have to do is highlight the 2.8 and then just paste see you just paste it and you do that uh, uh, everywhere where you see 2.8 and you will see it three times in the whole little uh, playlist and just change it to um, to this number here and then um, your Skype will work again um, it will when you just start it on the power PC you will see that the wheel will turn really long because uh, it's getting your um, contacts and it's getting certain stuff it's you know uh, yeah I, I always I always call it acclimating. It's it's an acclimatiser. We say that in Dutch. You know, it must get used to. So um, that is what is happening. And uh, yeah, and then your Skype works again, peeps. And you can try it. Um, I'm I could also you know put this thing on my media fire, but I cannot do that because you know um, I think that would not be allowed and I don't want to get no problems with Microsoft or with whoever owns Skype you know but that is the way how I modified my 2.8 Skype so it can still work and at this moment I'm talking on the on the Skype with my cousin let me see if he's there let me see if he's there brother Andrew yo Andrew yeah. can you hear me good yes. okay I'm running a uh, Skype version 2.8 with a modified uh, number, playlist number, and you know, it just works. And 
I did this before with other apps, you know, um, in uh, with the iPhone 3GS. We had certain apps that only run on a higher build of iOS. And then we just uh, changed the playlist uh, number to uh, the number of the updated version. This is a kind of old trick, but I see that it uh, still works. And it uh, also works for Skype. So I don't know if um, yeah somebody else already tried this, what I am uh, what I just showed. But you should really try it because it's working. And uh, I'm connected with my power book at this moment today, uh, December 7, uh, 2014, uh, with uh, the Skype. And Skype is working just fine. Only it doesn't look so uh, fancy and so beautiful as the new version that uh, yeah that you all are running on you know better Macs and uh, Windows machines. So peeps, this was my video. I don't think I should make it any longer. Uh, thank you for watching again. This was Puck, and uh, tell me if this worked for you. If it did, of course you must rate this video thumbs up. Um, of course, like, uh, subscribe and uh, be a good person in life. Till my next video, bye bye.